Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice math problem involving roots? Here we want to find the value of x. We have two methods of solving this. The first one, method one from here, given root x, then root x, root x inside each other like this, divided by root x. Also root x inside that, which is equals to root 5, then root 5. From here, let's square both sides. We square this side, also we square this side. Then the square on this side, we affect these two numbers. That is, we affect the numerator and the denominator. And we can equally write it as root x root x then root x square then divided by root x root x then square which is equal to from here this square we affect this square root we are left with 5 root 5 from here then also here the square cancel square root the square cancel square root and uh, this give us x root x then root x divided by here also we have x root x which is equals to 5 root 5 on this side then from here this x cancel each other and uh, this remain root x root x over root x then equals to 5 root 5 then let's square both sides again square this side also square this side then from here the square also we affect each of this which we can write as root x root x square then over root x square which is equal to on this side this square we affect these two numbers as well we have 5 square then times root 5 square then from here the square cancel the square root here we have x root x left over here yeah, square cancel square root as well we have x which is equals to 5 square here is 25 5 times 5 then times square cancel square root here we have 5 left here then in the next step x here we cancel out each other we have root x left which is equals to 25 times 5 here give us 125 then square both sides again from here square this side also square this side then the square cancel the square root here we are left with uh, x which is equal to here 125 we can write it as 5 raised to power 3 that's 5 times 5 times 5 which is raised to power 2 and then this power multiplies on the law of indices so we have x equals to 5 raised to the power 6 and then uh, we have the value of x from here then the second method from here method 2 we can separate this as root x times uh, root x root we have two roots here then x this other one contain two roots then times this one will contain three roots now then x which is divided by here we have root x then times root then root x that's two roots then equals to root 5 then root 5 let's leave this the way it is here then in the next step we can cancel this out since they multiply and they divide this cancel each other and from here we are left it this which is 3 roots then x 
which is equal to root 5 then root 5 from here this can be written again as x raised to power half then raised to power half again then raised to power half which is equal to root 5 then root 5 from here then when this we multiply from the law of indices when we multiply this this gives us x raised to power 1 over 8 which is equal to root 5 root 5 from here then we can remove this 1 over 8 and multiply both power by 8 so when we multiply both power by 8 this 8 we cancel this 8 here and we are left with just x then x will then be equal to from here we can write this as root 5 then root 5 square then also raised to power 4 we can separate it like that since 2 times 4 here will still give us 8 and from here this square we affect this root here and uh, we are left with x equals to 5 root 5 raised to power 4 and this power of 4 affects these two numbers and this will give us x equals to 5 raised to power 4 times root 5 raised to power 4 and root 5 is same thing as 5 raised to power half so here we can write it as x equals to 5 raised to power 4 times 5 raised to power half then raised to power 4 and since this multiply 2 go here 1 2 go here 2 then we have 5 raised to power 2 left here so x is now equal to 5 raised to power 4 times 5 raised to power 2 then from the law of indices same base then we can have the power then x will then be equal to 5 raised to power 6 so this also gave us 5 raised to power 6 and uh, either of the two methods can be used thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section see you next class and bye for now